guys, Anthony, 4x4 Diesel. This one should be a fairly quick video. I oh, know you're not even laughing at that anymore. <laughs> no, no, uh, what's the best Prado to buy? What is the best Prado to buy? So you're looking to buy a Prado. I think we sort of touched on it in another video, but I'm gonna be short and sweet about this. So whether it's a 120 or a 150 Prado, I'm gonna tell you the best models just quickly and why. Okay, so if you're buying a Prado, 120 if you'd like to borrow a Prado 120 personally I like the GXL I don't see any reason not to buy one and of course the last of the best 2009 is your answer okay sorry about that sunshine through the trees there it's annoying me too uh, the difference is I've got a sun visor you haven't but nice road I've got trees along the side should block most of it and hopefully it changes direction a little bit so that uh, you don't get too much of that but so 2009 120 as I said in the other video, I don't buy black at a light colour. If you want the best maintenance colour to go bush, white's your best colour. Silver's probably your second best, or best if you like it to look nice as well, because silver's a combination of nice to look at. It's the most popular colour, I think. Probably white might be second. And um, it's a nice colour, but it's still easy to look after. Nothing wrong with silver, you know. Um, they're the two colours. Last of the best, 2009. A late 08 is alright as well. Obviously, last of the best. Okay, so that covers the 120. Plenty of room in the back, so GXL is fine. If you're going to get into a 150, I suggest go for a GX. If you're going to be touring and you want that room in the back, you need the space. It's not just the weight and the space the seats take up in the floor. <coughs> it's also the trims. The plastic trims are different. They've got drink holders. They take up a massive amount of space, which is what I said in the uh, other video. I just wanted to mention that kind of a difference because it does matter if you're going for a 150 that you can get a GX if you can. What are the best ones? A 2015. Last of the best if you're going for the 1KD 3 litre which is what I recommend if you're buying a second hand car that's probably the go. Um, last of the best I really like 2015s. 14's are good too don't get me wrong with this on the road just a bit of tyre or something I don't know I'll go that side now it was a bit of a possum or something sorry about that or a rabbit or I don't know wasn't sure so anyway um, bada bing basically look if you want to get into a new Prado look I'm not going to stop you okay I prefer the 1KD from the aspects we've discussed in the other videos and we'll do it again and we'll give you more information as it gets up to date um, the pick of all the Prados I think is the 2015 150 um, overall package everything that's your Prado um, the last of the 120s 09 is a really good option we've got an 08 and that's not going anywhere um, but the DPFs and the 2.8 came out in 2015 in my opinion you'd still avoid the first of them you'd avoid the 15 the 16 the 17 sorry if you've got one you got one you got one it doesn't matter but I'm talking to people that are possibly looking to buy or upgrade to just keep this in, to, in their mind. Uh, from about 2019 onwards, that's where the five year warranty came in. You want a good warranty on these vehicles with the DPFs where it's a bit unknown still. Um, with DPF and software improvements, you probably might not see any problems if the vehicle's driven right. You might not see any problems for a very long time, okay? So, you know, 2019 or 2020, you know, either very new or very new is what you could look at because I believe they've made improvements and of course you've got that warranty there to back you up which is like five or possibly seven years if it's service right so which is pretty good you need to confirm with Toyota if they're going to cover your DPF for seven years I can't answer that I'm not them but see kept it short I always say keep it short I'm not quite done yet but I'm nearly I'm pretty you know we're going to recap on that so you tell me what's the best Prados to buy a 2015 150 with a three liter 3 litre 1KD FTV, awesome, with a 5 speed auto, auto's the go, in all these vehicles, other than maybe the 1GD, you might want to think about manual if you're going to do a lot of towing, because it's very, it's a really, we're not going into the transmission torque too much, but the soft block automatic transmission torque converter, you know, it unlocks too easy, it's an issue, you don't want to have to go and spend money and make it aftermarket to improve it, by putting torque converter locks and trans coolers and that if you don't have to, um, to give you a bit of information, you know, we've got 11 degrees outside temperature, okay? I've been driving mainly on torque converter lock, but not constantly. The damn thing right now is sitting on 
98 degrees and it's just about always on 100 degrees. This is the thing, right? Where the 1KD would be on 75, 78 degrees because it's running through coolant that's 83, 85. Right now the coolant, this one's 85. It'd be the same in a 1KD, right? We're driving a 1GD at the moment. Um, so I hope you get my drift there. The transmission stays a lot cooler naturally when driven, right? Under the same conditions, a 1KD doing what I've done now with this vehicle should be in the 70s, mid 70s, give or take, circa, you know, thereabouts. Um, draw a circle around 70 to 80, you know, somewhere in there. This one, it's on 97 right now, so it's dropped one degree since I mentioned it, but it's right up there. That's not a problem, but it's, it doesn't need to be that warm. I prefer it cooler. When the weather gets hot, when you start driving in hills, when you start towing, what's going to happen? Yeah, I don't really want to know. And that's why I prefer still, not just the engine, it's the whole transmission and software. That 2015 1KD FTV should be really looking good for you if you're listening to me. Right, I told you I wasn't finished. That's six minutes now. I think I'm finished. If you got something out of that, give us a thumbs up subscribe get that bell on so you don't miss out on the next awesome information and it should be just getting better hope you've enjoyed some of these roads sorry about the sun this is what priorities are for they're out there and to be out there touring you know a little bit rough here i don't know we'll see how the picture goes right a bit of a rough road be a bit of a test for the old uh, 4k video let us know in the comments if it was still a pretty decent picture or if it, you were getting a bit upset it was a bit too shaky Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, I'll have more information for you soon.